Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Elusive back again with another video. Before I get into the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Be here before a thousand if you guys are interested in best class ups, tips and tricks, how to get better, best settings, and nuclear gameplay, then this is a channel for you. Subscribe. It's free! But now that's over, as you guys can see, we're back on Vanguard and in this gameplay, I was using the KG M40. Bro, this AR might be the new best AR in the game. It's kind of questionable because it's very good, but I don't know if it's the best because it is very close to the carbine, uh, the Cooper carbine, the NZ-41, and now this weapon. They're all right there fighting for first place, bro. Those weapons go crazy. In this video, I dropped a V2 rocket, absolutely shredding with this thing. I know I'm late posting up a class up on this weapon. I've honestly just been enjoying Dying Light 2 and posting up content on that. So that's why I'm kind of late. And I've been playing since Season 2 dropped. I've been trying to level up my battle pass. But honestly, the battle pass leveling in this game is absolutely horrendous. XP in this game is horrendous in general. I played like 10 games and only went up 2 tiers, bro. I gave up after playing like 30 games and it was barely at like tier 6 or something. I just was waiting for double XP to drop as you guys see it did. And when it dropped, I hopped on here. Went instantly to 15, tried leveling up the weapon, maxed it out. Then I saw that they added the new weapon to Cold War, had to download Modern Warfare, a 70 gigabyte update, downloaded it, and couldn't even get the weapon because it's already been patched. That's, it is just a GG, bro. So I just wasted, it was actually 80 gigabytes. Just wasted it for no reason. And I honestly am probably going to go back to start posting up Cold War gameplay. So uh, let me know if you guys will be interested in seeing that. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna show the gameplay first and show the class up at the end, so let's get into the V2 Rocket gameplay. Alrighty, brothers, I just got back on Vanguard. Oh, damn. I literally saw uh, the new AR or whatever that they added to Cold War. So I dead ass just downloaded, I mean, updated Modern Warfare and Cold War multiplayer, which Modern Warfare had an 80 gigabyte update, bro. I did all that for nothing. Like, for real nothing i hopped on there and then i realized that the new ar that's in cold war has been patched so you can't get it anymore after playing modern warfare so in other words i just downloaded an 80 gigabyte update for no reason so now i was kind of feeling salty but i hopped on cold war anyways to get a little bit more of a feel for it because i'm probably gonna start playing cold war again instead of vanguard for uh like gameplay so i was getting a little bit of a feel for it and then after i played a game i looked at my battle pass and I had 11 free tier skips, bruh. Just kicking it there. They weren't there when I was on Vanguard. They were only there when I was on Cold War. So I used 11 free tier skips and it gave me the LMG. Like, yo, GG. So if you guys haven't checked, check Cold War. Just in case you have tier skips, just kicking it on there, bruh. So you don't have to level up the whole battle pass just by playing. You might have tier skips just kicking it there. Hell, even check Modern Warfare. I don't know about Modern Warfare if that, that's how it works. But that's how I did with Cold War. And I had free... 11 tiers just kicking it. Where the hell am I? Oh, here it is. So yeah, I might just go back to posting up uh, Cold War content rather than Vanguard. Cold War, I guess you could say, it has a better multiplayer experience than Vanguard without question. And it's more entertaining. So, if you guys are interested in seeing Cold War, then let me know. I'm probably going to go Cold War instead of Vanguard. I'll probably hop on Vanguard when, like, drop new weapons, which usually happens every season update. I'll hop on, unlock the weapons, and then do a class up on those and probably go back to Cold War. So, that's probably what I plan on doing. Well, I know for a fact I'm not getting a nuke this game due to the terrible spawns and the screen still shaking. Gotta love the updates that they did in this game since I stopped playing about almost a month ago. Literally stopped playing a month ago and they literally changed nothing about the game. The screen still shakes rapidly. The spawns still suck. Like, I don't know what they expected for people to like this game with the amount of issues that still exist since launch. Before even launch. Finally, a good map. Unlike shipment. Did they just spawn flip? Bro, I can't stand how every gun in this game, the, the clip covers the screen.
Another dude out here shooting? Losing objective Charlie. This gun is pretty loud for a weapon that's supposed to have suppressor on. Yeah, I can't shoot him from that. I could hardly even see him with this optic on from this range. This is 6v6, the worst possible thing to have. Not enough players to go around shooting with 6v6. No, bro, you're about to get me lasered. And they're camping. Like the spawns, they'll flip at any random time. And they're all camping, and there's not enough players in 6v6. They're gonna spawn flip. I'm just trying to get a nuke, bro. Ah, oh, damn. Bro just dead spawned in front of me. While well, I was in the middle of shooting someone else. Nope. I'm gone. The sniper just sitting up top. Nope. He's camping left. And the damn pulse grenades or whatever those grenades are. The impact ones, bruh. They irritate my damn soul. People always throw a dumb luck grenade and it hits every single time. I feel like those grenades are more like heat seeks. No one on my team can get a UAV, I can tell you that much. They never do. I just lost target assist right there. Hell no. You can have B for all I care. This dude just went to my spot and now he's about to get me killed. I can't stand when teammates do that, bruh. Like, you legit see me up there and you said, you know what, I'm gonna just go to your spot and steal it. Yeah, this is like kind of like Cold War, because they have recycled streaks, bro. At least they knew what they were doing. Take it, Charlie. I need one kill and I'm hiding like a little bee, but you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. I'm scared as hell and I'm tired of getting killed off of nukes. Losing objective, Charlie. And he threw a stun in, of course. Which I was aiming directly at him shooting and my bullets just turned. They, they, they just magnetoed. Nah, cause now I'm angry after that. Like if you're not good enough to compete in a one-on-one -on -one fight, then why push me? It just makes no sense. Like it was a, it was a good tactic, but it was a, a, a B tactic at the same time. Damn. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. They just spawn flipped me like that. I'll call it the harp now. This would be a good time. Bro, instantly came in and looked at the corner where he killed me at last time, bro. Fuck. They spawning around me, bro. And I gotta go. There it is. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Nah, bruh, cause that got me hot. I get killed on a 24 to get hit by a stun grenade. Like I said, bruh, it was a good move, but a B move. It was a good move, but a bitch move. It really was. Nah, bro, because now I'm about to go cracked. I was trying to get a simple, quick, easy nuke, and y'all just want to play. 
So now, y'all about to feel the wrath of a true Super Saiyan. Damn. But now, nah, what are your guys' thoughts on this new AR? This new AR, in my opinion, eh, it's good, but I don't know if it's the best AR. It might be. It could pop. I don't know about that now. Might I, I literally was about to say it could possibly be, but bro just took three bullets to the head and killed me. After shooting. After I literally shot him with three bullets to the face, he still somehow killed me. That's why my gun just stopped working. Nah, these dudes getting the new called in right now. It didn't even make the noise. I wanted to hear that. Did my audio just glitch right there? Cause I wasn't shooting, but I was still hearing bullets. Fuck is that? <laughs> oh god, he's like, what is that? Yo, it's a nuke. What you talking about? Oh dear, I went crazy this game after I kind of got killed one kill off a nuke by getting hit by a stun grenade, bruh. Nothing's worse than getting killed off a nuke by a score streak or grenade or a stun grenade. Nani, you want to live? Eliminations, dude. What the fuck? Look <laughs> <laughs> that shit. That's impossible, dude. That's nuts. <laughs> this dude is crazy, bro. Alrighty, brothers. What you guys all been waiting for? My KG M40 class setup. This one I'm running on the KG. I'm running the MX silencer. I'm running Krauss Nick 7 700 mm. I'm running slate reflector. I'm running VDD uh, padded. I'm running sleight of hands. I'm running fully loaded. I'm running fabric grip. I'm running the 0.30 dash. 50 round mag i'm running lengthened and i'm running the m3 ready grip this class setup goes crazy i also ran uh instead of slide hands i ran vital but honestly slide hands is the better way to go because this weapon reloads extremely slow and you don't want to get caught reloading for five minutes and then get killed it, it, it's just not worth it slide hands is the way to go bro Honestly, this is the best way to go because your speed isn't complete dirt, your accuracy isn't nerfed to the ground, and your firepower stays around the same. Honestly, goes crazy. You can change the silencer if you want and go with recoil booster. This is the probably the more better class up because you get the high fire rate with the high damage. But I'd rather stay off radar and have a little bit of a slower fire rate than have a higher fire rate and be on radar and constantly get shot in my back over and over again. You can also change the VDD padded to uh, the 36SK. This stock is also pretty good based on what it's showing. And honestly, the magazine, best magazine to run, don't run anything else. If you're running anything else, you're playing yourself. Ammo type, you can run lengthened, hollow point, or frangible, it's up to you. And for the optic, you run slate reflector for better close range, or you can change the optic for more long range if you're trying to get long range kills or play more long range battles, because this thing shreds all around. Close range, medium, and long range. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.